Hi, I'm Ryan O'Keefe, AFL footballer for the Sydney Swans. Welcome to my show, Healthy Eating. This show is all about eating well, feeling good, using wholesome natural foods. As an AFL player, this is my diet that I use to get the best out of myself and to perform week in, week out. When you eat good food, you feel good and you perform at your best, regardless of what you're doing. Today we're gonna to do a lamb roulade with a cauliflower and pea puree with some roasted balsamic carrots and beetroot. This is a typical meal that I'll have, say a day after a game or after a solid session, that's good for recovery because it's high in protein and plenty of vitamins and minerals through the veggies. It's low in carbs because I don't really need the carbs because I'm not really performing or having a, a serious training session. This is based a lot on recovery and getting the best out of my body so it can back up when the session starts in a few days time. All right, with the lamb today, I'm using pastoral fed Mirror Creek lamb. Now I'm gonna, for this sort of meal, it's good to use a shoulder. You could use a roll shoulder, but today what I'm using is just the eye of the shoulder. I've just got a few of these and these are great. The eye of the shoulder is really good because it's, it's got a little bit of fat and got a bit of the connective tissue. So when you slow roast it for two or three hours, all that stuff breaks down. Even though it's a little bit higher in fat, you might think, well, hang on a minute, it's a bit fatty, but it's got good fats. And because it's pastoral fed lamb, it gets all the good omega-3s and omega-6s, which is good for the body ability to recover, good antioxidants. Plus, when you slow roast it, all the fat starts to render out of it anyway, so you're not typically eating all the fat, and plus it adds a lot more flavor. So what we'll do, we'll just get some beautiful rosemary out from the uh, rosemary tree. I'm just getting a mortal pestle, let's whack it in here, and we're gonna sort of give it a nice, nice rub and coat it. Rosemary and lamb, you know, that's a marriage made in heaven. They just work really well. A bit of garlic and a little bit of salt just to season. You know, enhance the flavor, and sometimes, you know, a little bit of salt is good for you. Obviously too much salt is not too good and that's what you find in a lot of processed foods that it's really high full of salts and other little nasties that you, that you don't really need. We'll just peel this garlic very quickly. Let's get the skins off. Flat part of the knife, go bang, skins pop off nice and easy. If you're like me and love garlic, I garlic and absolutely everything. And garlic's really good for you, good antioxidant. Now just a little bit of seasoning with it, just a little bit of salt in there. That's good. And the mortar pestle, let's just break it up. Okay, just a roasting dish. Something that's got a lid on it. You want to put a lid on it so when you, when you are slow roasting it, put the lid on so all the moisture in that doesn't escape and it gets nice and, uh, nice and soft and tender. Just giving these fillets. Massage in there, get a good covering. Okay, it's been rubbed in now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit of red wine just in the bottom. You don't want too much, just enough, just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of moisture in there. And what we do, lid on, then in the oven, about 160 degrees. So once it's in the oven, we'll let that cook for about two hours. You'll be able to tell when the meat starts to fall apart and that's what we're looking for. All right, we've got the lamb cooking away. We can prep all the other veggies. Now what I'm gonna serve this with, I'm gonna do some balsamic uh, roasted carrots and beets. Beetroot's very underrated, it's really good for you. Just a bit of balsamic vinegar, just gives it a little bit more kick and it makes these roast veggies just a little bit more exciting. All right, we're just gonna just prep this beetroot. Cut them up. Nice little bits. You don't really need to peel the carrots. Just give them a nice wash. Make them nice chunky. Try not to peel as many vegetables as you can because all, a lot of the goodness is in the skins of the veggies. Now we'll just put this in a, another roasting dish. Nice little bit of uh, olive oil. Season a bit of salt. Pepper. And then what I've got here is just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Just give this a, just a little bit, not too much. And so get in here with your hands again, give it a good coating. Now with veggies, it should set the oven a little bit higher, around 200 degrees. And it should take about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. That's in the oven. I've cranked it up to 200 degrees. 
to get it roasted and get a nice caramelization. Okay, the meat is ready. Let's have a look here. The meat is nice and tender, about to fall apart. Perfect, it's exactly what we want. Put this in a bowl, and all you need is a fork, and we just break that up perfectly. Shred it all up. The meat's to see nice and beautiful, just shredding up nice and easily. Perfect. All right, next stage, we're gonna roll it. That's why it's called a roulade. Roulade's just a French word for rolled. So, you get some cling wrap, just lay it out on the bench there. Get your shredded meat. And it's got all the beautiful flavor with the rosemary and garlic seasoned. Just wrap it nice and tightly. Get the ends, give it a twist, twist. That's all nice wrapped up. Let's put that in the fridge. Okay, we've got the meat done. That's resting in the fridge. We've got the roast veggies there in the oven, ready to go. So we'll crack on now to the cauliflower and pea puree. Now to start this, we'll just get the cauliflower. We're just gonna have to cook this in some salted boiling water. We'll get them going first before we put the peas on. Just give this a light little season. And now we're gonna just put that on the stove. All right, the cauliflower's on, let that cook, and when it's almost cooked, we'll chuck the peas in, because the peas don't need much at all. I just need a little, quick little blanch. Once that's done, we'll blend them up, make a nice puree with a bit of goat's feta. Okay, we'll put the peas in there. They're just gonna need 30 seconds a minute. Just give a quick blanch, we don't wanna overcook them. Okay, everything's nice and cooked, perfect. Cauliflower, peas, beautiful. Now we're gonna make the puree, just into a blender. We'll put all this in. A little bit of liquid's not too bad. Peas and cauliflower in there. Now what I add to this is some nice goat's feta. Now goat's feta is really good for you, made out of goat's milk, which is easier to digest for us. Less in fat, and obviously there's no added sugar in this. And it just adds a beautiful flavor. Just give it a nice blend. There we go. Just give it a little taste, see how it tastes. For flavor, if it needs any seasoning, that's spot on, beautiful. Puree's done, our veggies are done, now it's the final stage for the meat. Let's get it out of the fridge. Look at that, nice and set, nice and hard, perfect. Now what we do is we cut our little steaks off and sear it in the pan, and then it's ready for plating. Can't wait to eat it. Cut through the cling wrap, that's fine. The cling wrap just comes off perfect like that. There we go, we've got ourselves some nice little perfect portions. Put them on a nice hot pan. Just sit them on. We've got a nice hot pan there, you can really hear the sizzle. Just like a piece of meat, don't touch them. Let them sear. What we're looking for is a nice little bit of caramelization on the surface. Let's get the plates ready and we'll start the plate up. Let's get the veggies out of the oven. Beautiful there, we've got a nice little color from the caramelization there from the balsamic vinegar. Let's give these a flip with that nice little color on each end. Beautiful. Meat's done. Perfect, perfect color, it's what I'm looking for. All right, let's plate this baby up. All right, we've got our beautiful puree on the plate. Let's sit this on here. Perfect. And let's top this with our beautiful veggies. There you go, there's my lamb roulade with the cauliflower and pea puree and my balsamic roasted carrots and beets. As I said, this is a meal high in protein, plenty of nutrients and vitamins with the veggies and low on carbs. This is a great recovery meal. This is something I'll be having after the game. All right, that's the show. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, healthy eating.